Hello everyone, welcome to a new game that I picked up because it was advertised at me, I know, I'm bad. This is Hob, it was recently cheap, basically, so I picked it up, thought I'd have a go at it. Uh, it is a game by Runic and apparently they do cool stuff. Uh, it does look pretty cool, which is why I picked it up, the videos look cool and it intrigued me and I wanted to play it and it had good reviews and I have not played it before, I've not tried it. I haven't even tested to see what the recording quality is like. We're just going to play. Uh, this is the introduction. This reminds me very strongly of something. That looks like Dog from Half-Life 2. And this had Half-Life 3, so Half-Life 3 confirmed straight away. Yeah, let's just uh, watch this cutscene. Maybe I won't waffle on anymore over the top of it. Oh, I'm, I'm controlling this. I'm playing with a controller for the first time on to the channel, I believe. Have I played any games with a controller so far? I don't know. Um, I did... Okay, so... I use the controller quite a lot to play casually. I hasten to add games like Fallout... <coughs> excuse me, uh, Isaac. Basically anything that I can play on my TV with the Steam Link, I will play on my TV with the Steam Link, unless I'm recording it. In which case, I'll uh, come this way and we will be playing it together. And I'll be using the mouse and keyboard. Usually, but not this time. No sirree, Bob. Can I jump through here? Nope, that still looks pretty cool. Uh, so far, I have guessed that A is jump. <laughs> and that is my thing. Do we have any other buttons? I, I am aware, oh, I'm aware of my three dots at the top. I'm guessing that's my energy. Because when I press... Hold on. Y. This is an Xbox 360 controller that I've co-opted for purposes of gaming. Uh, that, that shows up, so I'm guessing that that's combat or something. This is a link roll, so you presumably go a little bit faster when you do that. <coughs> oh, I, uh, I said this to a chap at work the other day, but um, ooh, the camera's locking on something here. Whenever I'm walking across a large space like this, I get the uh, <laughs> overwhelming urge to try and do a link roll, even though I have no reason to believe I'm even remotely capable of doing so. Um, I'm kind of guessing the game is going to you know, clue me in at some point as to what I can do and what I can interact with. Usually, oh, hello. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'll step on that since you asked me to. I, I can't, in case you're wondering. I'll go through here then. So this... Don't know what it is. It, I, I was expecting it to be a teleporter or a lift or something, but... It, it won't let me stand on it, so I'm just going to follow Dog. I really like the art style. It reminds me of... Um, quite a lot of games have this sort of cel-shaded, cartoony thingy. It did make me want to play Borderlands again, which I only own on the Xbox 360. And the problem, of course, with the Xbox... Ow! Okay, don't, that's my HP. Okay, fair enough. The only problem with the Xbox 360, apart from the fact that I, I can't record from it, is that it sounds like a helicopter taking off whenever you turn it on. So... I'm guessing maybe I want to... Uh, ooh, watch out. I want to get games to the PC, basically. I haven't switched on the Xbox for quite a long time. I briefly played a little bit of Far Cry 3 on it when I was completely bored. The trouble is, if I press the button on either of my Xbox controllers, it turns the Steam Link on. Which makes me want to play Steam Link games, which is fine. This is so... It's, this looks really good. I'll be honest. I am very pleased with the way it looks. I have got it on ultra high settings because it's a reasonably old game. Not hella old. But you know, this computer did okay with Doom on ultra settings. So I figure I can basically get anything that was made in the past and put it on ultra settings. It's not really telling me much. And I can't control... I was kind of expecting to control the camera with the, um, with the other analog stick. But it's not happening. It's another one of these. So maybe once we've got two of them open, we can step between them. Now that I've got a second one. I can't use it. Maybe it's a save point. Probably like a progress marker. Dude! This guy is strong as. Very reminiscent of Dog. Where's my gravity gun? Okay. At some point I believe that we're just going to be given puzzles to solve, but... I'm just going <laughs> to... It's a five minute video already and we've not actually done anything. So... Grumbly voice man. Yes. I'm guessing that's the saving thing. I. It hasn't 
told me anything yet. It's just let me play, and I, I really like that. It's letting me discover the game on my own. I don't know if I jumped there. I might have done. Let's, let's find out. I pressed A, but I wasn't sure if it was relevant for me to have done so. Yes, it was. Okay. So if I jump this way, and then we should be able to jump. Yeah, parkour. Um, yeah, it's literally told me nothing. Like I say, when I said hello, welcome to this game, that was me starting the game. The only other time I've launched the game so far, obviously, is um, when I accidentally ran it in windowed mode <laughs> and quit it again. Uh, weird, weird size as well, like 1600 by 900 or something. What What is the past like? Who are these people who have decided that that is correct? Look at that weird stippled alpha as well. What are you doing to me? Yo, dog. What's a dog? What's that dude? Looks like a herbivore. Very much reminiscent of some uh, Jurassic Parks I could mention. No? Guessing I have to put something on that? I'm also guessing that maybe I can press a button here. Ooh, don't, don't. Can't grab this. This might be a sort of a Legend of Zelda sort of thing where we have to find tools that allow us to progress. For example, is this thing hostile? May I get past, please? Hello! <laughs> it looks like a Gungan, but not quite so horrendously irritating. That is Zelda music in the background, I swear. That's cool. Oh, no thank you. Get off me! So this place is becoming corrupted. And now so am I. Dog, help! Yeah, cut my arm off. Ow. But also, I see. A little bit of credits. I wonder if we can uh, not watch these. These are all names that mean nothing to me. I have a drink with me this time. Thirsty. I am. Uh, today, sarsaparilla. Not the sarsaparilla that is usually root beer. Not the fizzy stuff that I have had in Arizona. That was nice. Um, although I would like that. Again. What's happening? I do believe it just crashed. <laughs> so. Ah, uh, oh, curses. Um, sure. I will submit a crash report. Probably cut this out while I try and run it again. And if this doesn't work, then I'm afraid we're not going to be playing this game. think we're through the woods. So the me at the present doesn't know what the me in the future is going to have done for you in the future, in the past. Whew. Okay, let's try this sentence again. <laughs> I'm going to have cut something, but I'm not sure how much. So there was likely to be a period of silence just now. That was me basically holding my breath, hoping that we could get through this uh, cutscene which I couldn't skip. Still can't skip. But Dog's given me his arm, so I'm guessing that is the bracelet of strength that I needed to find in the uh, pre-cut universe when I found that block. When I found that block. So, let's just run up these stairs in a very enthusiastic fashion. I guess I would... Probably not the word I was looking for. So we can pull this block now. X. I know which one that is. Yes. I know my X from my Y. X is across. Y is up. 
We can pull that in various directions as it happens. The other thing is we can't... Not being able to move the camera is odd. Because I kind of like to see where else this can go. Because uh, I, can, I can grab this and pull it this way. Though. Or push it that way. Oh, I see. I can pull things sideways. This is what this is teaching me. If I walk up to it without pressing the button, it, my uh, little character here will climb up that without prompting. I can't get past there now. Anything else here? No. Uh, but we can now pull this. And it's glowing as well to indicate such. Let's yank it out. At least it's not the annoying slow speed that um, that we have when we play Zelda. I mean, yeah, I've, I've pulled this. Maybe we can just yank it on. Oh, I see. We can climb up onto the... I was going to say maybe we can push it onto that, but I don't think that's going to work. So stop climbing on it when I'm trying to push it. Yeah, when you push something like this in Link's Awakening... No, Link's Awakening was a Game Boy one. Remind me. Ocarina of Time. That was the last time I pushed anything that shape with a, a green caped elven dude. Yeah, those are definitely um, save points, by the way, because that's where I came out of when the game relaunched itself. I did submit a bug report, but I kind of don't expect it to make any difference because there was some uh, sad news on the Steam news page. Don't worry, I'm okay without my arm, I guess. Um, saying that Runic are no longer, so maybe there's nobody to pick up the fixy development of this game, which is why it's reduced X. A sword. This is very link. Oh, you broke it. Good job, mate. Well done. You had, like, one job, which is to pull that sword out of that ground. I wonder what that's... It's, it's... So one of the reviews I was watching said how it just... There's all this runic and, and garbled words and nonsense, and we're supposed to understand. Or rather, we're not supposed to understand. But it's just sort of... Why well, don't I tucking that away? That's nice. Um, it's almost... So I've got some pieces of sword. I'm still sticking this sword together. I guess that's the point. I've broken the sword, but I can fix it. That's what that thing is telling me. I expect. Um... But there is no English. There is nothing that I, as a person, am capable of directly understanding, except through the application of some form of intelligence, i.e. guessing. Ooh, hello. I can upgrade myself. I have no things, and therefore I can't afford it. So there's two types of currency, I guess. Or maybe one of them is space for upgrades? I'm not quite sure. This is English. Improved rolling dodge. So that's a dodge. And I'm guessing now that I've got a part of a sword, I can attack with it, but I'm not quite sure. Probably should have guessed that was my HP, huh? Reasonably clear. I see. I can forge my sword. Nice. I'm understanding. So the, the runic thing was telling me I had three sections of sword, and that's all I needed, so... I'm expecting that to be a little bit harder. I am also expecting somewhat that maybe there's going to be more of these in the future and I need more pieces of sword to get an upgrade. So yeah, a little bit of sarsaparilla there, but don't forget I do also have the standard requirement uh, whiskey. I have two whiskeys, obviously. There's the one that James got that I told you about. Hey, look, you see, we can... Achievement unlocked, it's your chance. So I can't um, put anything in here, but there is another... I keep trying to move the camera. There is another uh, sword sword thingy, so... Uh, I, w I went in here. <laughs> I didn't even know I could go in here. Oh, I can change my appearance, maybe? Um, there's the whiskey that James bought me for Christmas slash birthday, as mentioned at the end of the Doom series, which, if you haven't seen, obviously now you know what you need to do uh, for the rest of this evening. And this is the one I bought myself from the Peak District. In, I was going to say Buxton, but it wasn't Buxton. It was the place where the things come from. Yeah, good job. Well done. That's really descriptive. I can't break these bushes just now. But maybe with a stronger sword I can? Oh, I can break that one. Um, Bakewell. Where the Bakewells come from. 
Not the people. I'm guessing there are people whose surname is Bakewell. And you would call them the Bakewells, but no, 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 not those people. Um, Bakewell pudding. Slash Bakewell tart. On what, what you really want to call it. So can I, like... So if I hold this button down, I'm expecting to be able to do a spin attack. I'm also wondering... So one, two, one, two... Yeah, we're just doing this. Um, the upgrade obviously said add a third more powerful attack, which is reminiscent of the the Zelda <laughs> noise, which everyone who has played the game hopefully knows what that means. And everyone who hasn't probably just thinks I'm insane, which is probably why they're here anyway. X. Yeah, I'll have a rest. Kind of a dangerous precipice to be resting on. Ooh, hello. Did you see that? I guess we're supposed to see that. That was a save game icon, I suppose. Is this a game saving thing as well? Maybe. Um. Again, I keep wanting to move the camera. But it is not cooperating. I can see this. Can we get up here? Can we go like this? Yeah! Alright, cool. This is extremely Link. This is so much Zelda in this game. I am having trouble getting over. I, I, uh, I don't know what that means. But I didn't like it. It's very quick. Can we get up here? No. Um, can we... Is that X again? Oh, I see. I pressed X and it got my sword out. It is not... Uh, escaping my attention that X is both get sword out and also use item. Do I want to be up here, maybe? Maybe. I mean, there is a little spot. Ta-da! Representing it. There we go. And hup! Oh! And hup! I'm wondering if this thing on the wall, this little golden dot, means go from here to here. And hup! And hup! <laughs> nearly made that one wrong. This is a game that definitely benefits the controller because it seems that much more versatile. It's just more natural to push the controller in a certain direction at a certain speed. These things look uh, hostile. I'm not quite sure what this extra HP thing that I have is. This little broken one that's at the end here? It fades away after a while. I'm expecting to find rupees in case you're wondering. Why I'm breaking all this grass. If I put it away, which doesn't happen on its own. Um I think it comes back. What are you doing? You're in trouble, mate. I'll help you, don't worry. Doesn't seem hostile, or at least he's not noticed me. Maybe if I open the door, start paying me more attention. What's this? I have collected a fluttery thing. That was extremely gentle, considering I've only just gained this arm. <laughs> and I am surprised that I have any capability of using it, especially to that degree. Um, can we open this? No. Can I get over here? Yeah, see, it's... um. When I get my sword out, that one piece, extra piece shows up, and then when I put it... Up, or after a minute, it fades away. But it seems like it comes back when I get my sword out again. This doesn't seem safe, so I'm not going to do it. <laughs> yeah, just, if it doesn't seem safe, you, you're not required to, you know. Okay. Nope. I don't know. This is a good start. Basically, I have no idea what I'm doing here. I've killed two things. I gain no obvious reward from it. Can I just, like, poke him? Oh, now he's noticed me. Oh, I've got an idea. Come over here. This way. Come on. Come on. Hello. Do that one, but over here. Do that one, but over here. Screw you. Very rude. Oh, didn't really do that right. 
I'm aware that this is a dodge roll. I wonder if I can roll and then attack here. Yeah. Ow! Not actually rolling, of course. It does not help. You are leaking very gross stuff. HP? Ah. The currency of improvement. I did gain HP back. Uh, presumably you have the HP until combat, basically. The flickering is happening on my screen, by the way. It's not YouTube or anything. Seems a little bit glitchy. I'm uh, half expecting it to crash. But... Here we are. I think we're just going to be plodding through this game until it, it gives us some... Some reward for doing so. Don't like this. Okay. Cool effects. Oop. Okay, you do um do have some leeway against completely fouling it up. Tried to roll when I landed by pressing jump again. That's how much this is like Zelda, that a game that I have not played in probably ten years. I it's already coming back to me. <laughs> and I'm assuming that that is this game. Yeah yeah, you can jump. That's fine. The controls are so intuitive. It hasn't told me how to play it, it just says X every now and then. And that's really... I, it seems to be as much to tell me that I can do something. Uh, as it is to actually do something. I don't know if I can or should be attacking these bats. I mean, I have this whiskey, I should probably do something with it. What have we got here? Go inside? Oh. He's interacting with it on his own. Hello. Pretty thirsty, yeah. Hello. I'm taking my arm apart. I'm using that. The, the controller is vibrating, which is... I don't want to say it's unpleasant, considering where I'm holding it, but it doesn't seem appropriate to the subject matter of the game. Now I have a thing. Sure, I'll find a use for that. First armament. That sounds like a armament and armada. A very similar words, don't you think? So now I can interact with these. Hold Y. And then let go. Ooh, that's nice. I have a charge meter now. <laughs> really broke that. Good, Bennett. That one little thing gave me that much power in my arm. You have to imagine that some of that must come from my shoulder, which is, well, I mean, some of these muscles are still mine, right? This is must be a very heavy arm as well, so hopefully my legs have been upgraded sufficiently to carry everything. I appreciate Dog sacrificing its, um, you know, it is basically its limb. I've done it again, though. Hold Y. Maybe the broken bit is showing me what my next upgrade would be if I were to upgrade that. Oh, we're back where we started. I see. Now what? <laughs> I mean, it's grateful, but it's like... Sometimes helping somebody is not the best thing to do. Nope. Um, you, you can seriously harm somebody by trying to help them. And this seems like it could be one of those situations, although... For purposes of plot development, I suppose it isn't. I would like these to be teleports between locations that I've visited, because I don't want to walk anymore. <laughs> Let me out. Jump, jump. Well, there's something through here. Splat. Dude, that's not how it works, bro. What's this? Can I interact with this? Nope. Can I do this? Nope. Luckily it recharges reasonably quickly, so I don't have to worry about experimenting with it, but... I'm also wondering if this is going to be one of those games where it just always tells you to press the button that you need to press. In which case, it's just a matter of searching for... You know, locations in the... Oh. It's not. I've already had that question answered for me. A. Y. Nice, it's like Banjo-Kazooie now. You're like Banjo-Kazooie and Link in the same single unit of creature. You don't have to charge it. It's good to know, because I can't be bothered. That's pretty cool. I like the way these environments adapt. 
I think we'll get to the end of this environment if, if it's not too far and uh, call the end of this episode because it's been a, a nice nice introduction a very I suppose the game is supposed to be a gentle introduction to the game but yeah it's been um, it's been an easy rider so far but I expect the game to become difficult reasonably quickly I'm hoping it does introduce me to the entire game by not explaining anything is a very interesting game mechanic which I, I really appreciate um, lots of games do it and I like all of them for doing so and the shadows look really cool as well uh, I'm gonna stand here at this weird like inverted TARDIS thing and say thank you for watching this episode it's a new game it's a completely new game to me I've only seen a couple of videos uh, and I hope that you're enjoying it I hope that you think it will be enjoyable and I hope you'll join me in the next episode let me know what you think uh, and then until then I guess Bye.